something that you will see in a lot of areas in the state of Florida. You will see these little ponds, but they're not actually just ponds. They are water runoff areas. And what are water runoff areas? Typically, if you see a large commercial base parking lot, notice the parking lot, you'll typically see or buildings or commercial space or developments, apartments, what have you. You'll see in the low lying areas, water retention ponds. These are runoff ponds. These ponds, these cars have oil that leaks from them, fluids that leaks from them. You have debris, you have paper, you have waste. The intention is for them to go through the drains, run down the hill, and come down to these water retention ponds. Although this one is very nice, there are some that are polluted with a lot of water, a lot of uh, paper products, a lot of waste, and so forth. So these are water runoff ponds. Now, there's a difference between water runoff ponds and recycling ponds. Water runoff ponds are water runoff 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 because these ponds, the idea is these ponds will hold the water and filter through the process all of the bad materials and then eventually this water will soak down or run off into another area which will lead to streams, natural streams, natural ponds. And the goal is for that water to be clean, to be filtered. It's amazing that we use nature to clean filthy water. Although these areas are utilized by birds, amphibians, fish, and all sorts of things, this can be a environment where everything works together. It's amazing that man has figured out that you can dig and dredge a pond and filter and clean the water. These cypress, their root system, they also clean and filter the water. A lot of these lilies that are planted here, the grasses, the type of grasses themselves, they do perform a filtering process. If you look here, the water is clear. And if you look closely, you might even see some fish. This is action and work. We can work together with nature. We can coexist with nature. And we can make a place, when you think about the idea of the whole int intention to build this, this water retention pond or this, this area, it was, it's a dumping ground for waste. But look what we've done. Leon County, they do parks, they do a lot of different beautiful areas, and I'm proud of the work that they do. They maintain a lot of the trees, these large majestic oak trees. They're well maintained. They have Spanish moss coming from the trees. Things that have taken hundreds of years to build and to grow, they still cherish those things. And it's amazing, although if you look closely, you do see some debris, but that's what it's designed to do. It's designed to bring the debris over to the edge. And then once you bring the debris, guess what happens? A crew will come and clean up this debris from the water's edge, and then we can continue the process. So next time you pass by or you see a development going up, and you see where they're digging a little pond, a little holding pond, think about this. It is a cleaning filtration system. It's a system designed to clean our tap water, to keep our tap water clean, and to keep our waters, rivers, streams, and lakes clean. Nature is so amazing and it's so beautiful.
And as we witness nature does it doing its job, we must do the same. We must contribute as well. Now, if you look over here, you see the water as it rises, it goes through this drainage. The drainage has a metal mesh to keep large debris out. As the water fills up, notice the water itself. Look real close. Can y'all see the fish? I'm not sure if you can see the fish, but we got fish in here. But the debris, heavy debris, drops down to the bottom. Light debris floats off to the edge. And then the skim off the top is filtrated water. This water will go down through this drain. It'll go all the way down through this water drain. It's a big old drain here. And if you look real closely back over there, we'll take, make our way where the water will travel underneath the ground inside drainage. And eventually it will lead to some of our natural water systems. And once again, if you notice the plants are strategically placed to help filtrate the water, the palms, the lilies, all of these things. And I look at the calmness and the clarity of the water that comes out. And then the water takes its journey through this tunnel and eventually it runs into a river that supplies us food, nature food, and the habitat that we can all love and appreciate. So these are the things that in the state of Florida, they maintain, they preserve, and they keep this place looking amazing. So think about it and thank those that work and that innovate change and where there's a problem nature will find a solution y'all take care and be well stay blessed and keep on growing grow